Conversion Disorder. Conversion Disorder is a psychiatric condition and very briefly the summary is that the patient will have some sort of stress in, in their life and that will cause certain symptomatology. Now these symptoms will then later be unexplained by medical testing and it's therefore then concluded that the symptoms are based on stress and there's no actual medical condition causing them and this is not uh, intentional the patient's symptoms are legitimate meaning they're coming naturally they're not faking and uh, as you can imagine it's quite um, troublesome to the patient as there is no actual medical condition it's greater in females than males and can happen really at any age so let's talk about what kind of symptoms would the patient present with. Well, one thing for sure in the clinical vignette is that there will be some stressful event in the patient's life. And then all of a sudden, the patient will exhibit deficits in motor and sensory function. So I will illustrate some of those. So for example, the patient will all of a sudden say that I'm having problems with my balance or the patient will all of a sudden develop weakness in an extremity. Another example is paralysis, complete paralysis in an extremity or loss of sensation in any body part. And more severely sometimes you can get pretty significant occurrences such as seizures or even blindness and sometimes even deafness. So naturally the patient of course will seek medical attention either you know at their family doctor or emergency room and the diagnosis if initially involves as you can imagine extensive testing to try to figure out what exactly is going on with this patient and Basically, all the tests are normal. So, all this extensive testing essentially rules out all possible medical disorders that could have caused those symptoms. So, the end conclusion that is that there's just conversion disorder. So, then how would you treat it? Well, very difficult, but psychotherapy sometimes has helped. Other more obscure uh, scenarios include hypnosis. Um, but studies have shown that the most helpful is to have a trustful and supportive relationship between the doctor and the patient. If that is established, that can definitely um, help. So now let's take a look at a couple vignettes and see what this looks like. 31-year-old man presents to the emergency department with a sudden onset of weakness in his right hand. Two weeks ago, his wife filed a complaint of spousal abuse with the local police, and yesterday he gave several guns to a friend of his because he didn't trust himself with them. Mental status exam reveals a peculiar calmness and lack of concern about his weakness. Which of the following is most likely diagnosis? Well, the question of unfortunately doesn't give you too much information, but being somewhat trouble with the police definitely might have caused him some stress he gave his guns away because he's probably stressed out and fearful that he might use it and then all of a sudden he develops this weakness in his hand and I'm sure later they do a lot of testing that shows that there's absolutely nothing medical to cause this so that kind of fits the picture of conversion disorder best and the next one 22 year old woman has been brought home from a private college on a medical basis because of the occurrence of seizures that often occurred in a room in the woman's dormitory and as described would seem to be grand mal seizures she is hospitalized and her family doctor visits her at her hospital bed he witnesses a seizure and suspects that they are not organically based that is they are hysterical or pseudo seizures 
which of the following somatoform disorders is present in this patient. Again, another difficult one, but she's a college student and perhaps she's under quite a bit of stress because of her studies. All of a sudden she experiences these seizures which the doctor actually says that are not organically based so he feels that it's not a true seizure. So this kind of fits the clinical picture again of conversion disorder. And I encourage you to look at each of these uh, in the explanation section to see how each of these is different from conversion disorder. For example, hypochondriasis is a situation in which the patient has a very strong fear um, of something and malingering is when the patient is faking their symptoms. So this clinical vignette doesn't really fit those two uh, at the best. So for this question, the answer is A.